last week I made a reaction to weird things in German supermarkets and on that video I said that I want to learn more about German supermarkets and see how they compare to supermarkets where I'm from in the UK, where I live now in Malaysia and just learn more about them in general. And this video I thought would be quite interesting. This was recommended by one of my viewers. It's called You've Never Seen German Efficiency at Checkout Like This. Now, of course, efficiency is like a stereotype of Germans. Uh, if you ask someone, tell me one word to describe Germans, a lot of people will say efficient. And yeah, you can tell me if you think that's a fair stereotype, if it's true. Uh, I mean, if you ask someone, tell me one word to describe Scottish people. Tell me what you would say in the first place. I mean, a lot of people would say like drunk, alcoholic, something like that. Uh, so at least you've got a good stereotype, man, something that is actually beneficial to your life. Uh, but tell me if you think efficiency is a true German stereotype, if it is true, if you're efficient. Uh, and tell me if you think there's any other stereotype that's more suitable for German people. But let's watch this video and see how German efficiency takes place in the supermarket. German checkout race. Shopping in Germany is a different experience. Checkout times from other countries will seem super slow compared to the ones in Germany, which ensures efficiency, low prices for the customers, and big profits for the company. True, that. I never thought about that. It, if you really think about it, if the supermarket has a focus on being efficient when it comes to the checkout and getting people through quick, I mean, people would want to go back because they know they're going to be quick when they get, get to the, the supermarket, don't they wait in such big queues and things like that. But yeah, Ultimately, it's going to make profits for these companies and I guess that's probably one of the reasons why Aldi and Lido are so popular in the UK as well. Aldi is so proud of being the fastest one in the industry, they even dedicated a full blog post about their lightning fast checkout speeds. And that is exactly where I will demonstrate this German efficiency. Okay, so yeah, tell me if that is true. Is Aldi Sud the quickest, most efficient supermarket in Germany? Do you notice any difference between the supermarkets? Are any slower than others or less efficient? Mm. I never thought about this as well. What, what is your weapon of choice when it comes to your your packaging or how you how you collect your groceries? For me, it's usually this. Uh, what do you call that? It's like a tote bag or something like that. This one here usually got two or three of them, but. The IKEA bag could be a, a game changer. I've never actually thought about what taking one of them. You could just stick so much in it, it's big, it's durable. Hmm. I would go for that. Since actually, I'm not doing this alone, I'll call this any percent double speed run. Time starts when the first item beeps. Notice immediately how the cashier does not wait for the customer to get out, saving precious seconds. <laughs> now observe the customer in front of me use a tote bag. Mm. Unfortunately, that exceeded the two-star size rating, which forced the cashier to arrange some yogurts for him to go quicker. This caused a five-second loss in the speed run. <laughs> this is engrossing. This should be a sport. I mean, Germany would probably win that as well. And with the free space here, it makes it possible for me to put the IKEA bag using a strat called using zwei hands. <laughs> I'm able to double my intake speed. In case of an emergency, the backup strat oh, is the quick shot of the sinking. <laughs> but in most runs, I don't need it. Now, while player two is still putting items in, the next player trick two. is prepare my payment method. Paying with card gives you a few extra precious seconds to organize everything. And for the cashier, a few extra seconds of auto scroller to relax. Mm. If there are no glitches, I won't have to repeat the payment and the game doesn't soft lock. Timer ends when the bag hits the other platform. I mean, I have never seen buying groceries broken down like this to such a strategic uh, process. But what I've got to say here, tell me if there's anything you think could make this process more efficient. I'm thinking that that counter looks quite small. Usually when I go to supermarkets, I don't know if it's just the, in Aldi that it's like this, but usually you have that a bigger bagging area and they put all the things down and you have a bit more space to work with. I love the IKEA bag uh, strategy. I've never thought about that before. I'm going to use that, I think. Uh, but what I like to see here, this worker, man, if this guy is representative of checkout workers in Germany, 
I've got to give some respect to him, man. He is focused. He's just getting his job done. It's like a team effort, man. You've got to have 50% responsibility on the buyer and the checkout operator. This guy is moving fast, so you've got to keep up with him. You've got to like match that. It's like playing football, man. If one person lets the team down, then everybody suffers. You've got to work together here, man. Uh, he looks comfy here, sitting here, man. This guy does look efficient, actually. Could anything be done to make this process more efficient? Uh, it's very interesting Even to me, though actually. my run ended, notice how the cashier immediately continues with the next customer. It's like a no constant stopping. flow of pit stops. Yeah, man, he's like a machine. 54 seconds. Less than one minute for the whole process, with even a five second loss at the beginning. This is what I call German efficiency. Amazing work. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, thanks for recommending that video. Yes, you can definitely see the speed difference, especially compared to here in Malaysia, where the checkout operators can be a bit like wishy washy, a bit slow. But what I think is interesting is usually when I go to the checkouts here in the supermarket, maybe the person behind the checkout will talk to me. They'll say, like, How are you? and have a bit of conversation, maybe talk to my son. Here, they're just all about the job. They're just doom, 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 doom. Is that common? Do you ever get the checkout operators just want to have a chat? Do they actually measure the efficiency for these workers in Germany? I can imagine it would be like very organized and they would be like, okay, your time per item is this, you have to reduce it and so on. But yeah, tell me more about your experiences. Is it definitely is Germany the most efficient country when it comes to checkouts? Thanks.